Hi, this is a short video to demonstrate how you can manufacture a Z-Wave uh, pool level sensor uh, out of basic components all available on Amazon. So we have a basic aquarium float level switch which I've attached to a suitable piece of stainless steel which is an old jubilee clip simple inlight connector Z-Wave door window sensor and a small project box which is waterproof the way that most of these door sensing devices work is a, a magnet operating a reed switch inside the sensor it's quite easy to demonstrate the window sensor comes apart by taking off the battery compartment and getting your thumbnail into the lid and popping it off. Here you see the reed glass reed switch which operates by the magnet coming in contact. So what we're going to do here is we're going to unsolder the switch from the circuit board carefully and solder the wires to the connector to those terminals so that when the float switch operates the window sensor will think the window or door has been opened or closed. Okay, now we're going to just lift the switch off. Okay, and there it is. Now we're just ready to wire the connector across there. Okay, I have drawn a couple of holes in the box, nice and snug put the wires through and now I'm going to seal those with um, water pipe plumbers adhesive which works really well with this kind of plastic so now all I've got to do is put this in the bottom of the box and attach the wires Okay, like that. Now in order to keep it all together we do have to put the lid back on. So I've just cut a little slot in the side of the box there to allow the wires to go through when I put the lid of the sensor back on, like that. Okay. Now on the connector here, I've just chosen a simple connector. I just need to connect the wires for the switch. And I've just got some heat shrink just to seal it off a little bit.
tonight. So if someone should lift the lid and not know it's there, it will just disconnect. And disconnecting this will actually switch off the pull pump. So that's a safety. Okay, so now we're just ready to mount the switch on the side of the skimmer and mount the, the box into the lid of the skimmer. The window switch to the home system and I've set an automation that when the window switch senses an open it will turn the pull pump off. So let's see if that happens. Voila! So when I now mount this in the skimmer if the pull level gets low the window sensor sees an open and it will turn the pull pump off. Okay so here it is, it's mounted on the skimmer lid and the float is mounted on the side which is still allowing the basket to come out. There you go, I hope this has been instructional. One more thing I needed to mention, um, the switch needs to be open circuit or contacts open when you want to turn the pool off um, and that's easily done on the little float there you take the clip off the bottom and you take the magnet float off and just put it on the other way around that turns it from contacts normally closed to contacts normally open or, or, or the other way around is what you actually need so you need it when the float drops the contacts open Okay, that's it. Hope you, uh, hope you have fun with this. My next thing I'm going to do is um, the pool temperature sensor. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye.